Congressman Scalise, do Democrats really realize what's happening outside of the walls of those hearing rooms? Do they get what the people are hearing or not watching? And they surely don't get what the people want Congress to be doing. But I think they're starting to recognize. They're, they're starting to think about pulling the ripcord. Because people are saying, okay, why aren't you focusing on lowering prescription drug prices or creating more, drug, more, more jobs with the USMCA trade deal? Or, by the way, they... Pelosi has brought a bill to the floor to make sure our troops have the tools that they need to train safely. They're not doing any of that stuff because they're obsessed with impeachment. And people are sick and tired of this stuff. And they're watching all these career bureaucrats who might have a different policy agreement with the president. But there was some... Uh, and people didn't know quite how to react to different moments. He seemed kind of like a hapless kind of, gosh, well, how, how did I get here? How did I, I give gave a million-dollar check to the uh, <laughs> inaugural, and, and, and all I got was this. We have a T-shirt. I gave a million dollars, and all I got was this damn subpoena to appear at the hearing. His T-shirt was, I just want to get out of here without getting convicted of perjuring yeah. myself. And so when you look at what the questions were, the beginning of the day started off the Democrats drooling over this idea that they thought Silence said quid that there was quid pro quo. That was the headline. This morning, For an and by the end of the day, it turned out. You know, Mike Turner said it best. He said, "No one on this planet told you that President Trump tied foreign aid to investigations." And Sondland said, "Correct. All right. That's the end of it. The, <laughs> the investigation should end now, Laura." Doug.